Someone stole my passport when I was boarding the plane and it was one of the best things that could have happened to me. As story headlines go, pretty compelling, isn't it? Hello and welcome to the Everyday Storyteller. I'm your host, Hilary Salzman, and unfortunately, the story of the stolen passport, it's not mine. But I bet it had you hooked, didn't it? Amazingly, though, it is a true story. It's about a chap called Marcus Teague flying out from Melbourne, Australia to London that I came across on Apple News a few weeks ago. It really is an incredible tale that centres around human kindness, a rather special Cathay Pacific employee who went the extra mile, and a reminder that honest mistakes do happen. Someone accidentally picked the passport up, not realising until they got to their first stopover in Hong Kong. So why am I sharing this? Well, I think there's two lessons I take from this. The first is all about the power of an intriguing headline that taps into an emotion we can all recognise. Hopefully none of you have ever lost your passport boarding a plane, but I bet you anything that you can imagine just how awful it would make you feel if you did. The writer knows that and is funneling that knowledge into the story and then some. Think about how you can use emotion in your own stories. Can you take a functional piece of content and turn it into a story by tapping into your own emotions, those of the people in your story or the shared emotions of your audience? And lesson two, although the headline is very eye-catching, The story is a surprising tale which leaves you feeling that in a world that's seemingly gone to pot right now, there's hope that good things can actually happen. Be surprising in your own writing. Hook people in for sure and then tell them something they weren't expecting. The very best stories don't just teach your audience about you, but actually teach them something about themselves, what they value, what they see as important all to create those emotional connections which are great for your relationships. Now, if you want to read the whole Passport Fiasco story, and I really recommend you do, it's such a great example of brilliant storytelling that I take learning from, then I've posted a link in the show notes. Thanks for listening. And don't forget, if you've enjoyed this podcast, you can always leave a five-star rating or review. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside when you do. But more importantly, it makes it easier for others to find the show and start working towards owning their voice and telling their story. Thanks for listening.